And here's the Aquanta computer installed. Install is really simple. I didn't even film it. Uh, you can check it out on their website. You can buy it from their site at 149. Then it gives you installation videos, whether you have a gas or electric, it, it goes through all of the steps. So it's, it's pretty thorough, um, easy to install. The thing that takes time is just tucking everything away the way it needs to be, the running the wires, et cetera. So depending on how careful you are or don't care to be, uh, it'll go as fast or as slow as you need it to be. Wow, that's a weird statement. Anyway, uh, then it talks about overall the, your expenses. Typically, water heating is 18%. But to me, what I like also is not only that part of it, although this isn't going to be, you're not going to be saving hundreds of dollars a month. Um, based on my usage, I'll show you what, what my what I feel like I saved. But um, what I like it too is you can control it remotely just saying, hey, like we're away for half the day or we're, we're going on vacation for two weeks. You would just set it to away and it's just electronic. So it'll completely set it just like as if you took the, the pilot light all the way down to away or vacation mode. It's doing that same thing. This, by the way, can never go higher than the physical knob on your water heater. And I, you know, that makes sense. I think it's also for safety. So um, let's go ahead and log in so you can see what the control panel looks like. All right, so this is my water heater. It is a 50 gallon, which is pretty good. We have four people living currently at this place. You can also boost it. If you click on boost, you can set a duration or in the future and uh, it'll boost it, I guess, where it's just gonna make sure it's always at that highest temp. Actually, you could say, before I installed this unit, that's what it would have done. It would have always just been cranking away at that full uh, temperature or physical on the knob, right? You've got different settings on the knob. I'll show you that. And that's where it would always maintain that level. But even when you're sleeping, and that's where the waste of energy is, right? You don't need, or if you go away for half a day or, or longer. It's nice, you can have additional units where if you had a second home for vacation or whatever, you could control it from there as well. So the, I think the key is not that you're saving tons of money every month, but it does add up and you will save. And I feel like I'll show you my statistics and I do feel like I have saved money. And um, I'll show you that. Here's the usage. So we're gonna back up the truck a little bit. I installed it January 30th. And here it's saying how many therms. So obviously that was like barely half a day um, of data that it captured. And then as I went through the weeks, it then took more of a baseline of, of the usage. So it's just kind of giving you an average curve here based on each day. So I think I've had it now for like three weeks. Only noticeable weirdness here is Monday uh, the 8th. It did not capture any data. I have no idea why. I don't know if that's because Aquanta was doing system maintenance or what the deal was, but uh, that's what that was about. And then here's the end of that. I, would, I think that was a third week, right? So now it's, it's telling me what my uh, typical usage has been. And that's 0.212 therm per day over the past 30 days. Obviously it doesn't have 30 days in my history, but this gives you some sense. You can also look at things by month. So January, February, and look at the dates too. I, th I thought that was kind of interesting. I don't know why they're doing this because to me, I look at the date or sorry, a month's period of time as January 1 to the end of January, but that's not what it's doing here. So I don't know. I think it's kind of interesting. Then you have over the year. So you can look at that. So they do give you with, uh, some nice statistics. Then you can select the performance you want the least efficient, the most, sorry, efficient or the most efficient. I went ahead and just cranked it to most efficient. And that's where it's saying it's looking to save you the, as much possible money uh, as it can at the risk of running out of hot water. I can tell you so far, we have not run out of hot water. So I like this setting. I do think it is saving me money. And that's pretty much it. Really cool. Um, and if I were to click boost, it's then going to, instead of sitting at 66%, again, it knows our history of when we shower and all that stuff, at least based on what it, its algorithm thinks. Um, it's probably going to sit it here until towards the evening when most of the shower activity is happening. 
Uh, not so much in the morning. Things have changed a bit, as you know. So that's typically the way our water usage works. All right, so here is uh, the summary. This is from my gas company. So the last payment um, was 187 and 78 cents. And then the payment that's due now is 163.39. Now I can tell you the weather has been very consistent where we've been, but so we're lucky in that respect. But um, it does feel like it's, you know, definitely it's turning the thing off when we're not using it. I can tell you that, or, or dialing it down. It, it does feel like it's saving money. Yeah, just something to keep in mind. Tried to put the wires as clean as possible, but you know, they obviously are vis uh, visible. Here's where it plugs in down here. So if you have an older water heater, the, we just got this one replaced, plugs into a computer. The newer ones have computers. This is the physical knob I was referring to. We have it set right here. So it's just a little bit past hot. And you go to A, we could still go to B, we can still go to C, and we, then we've got very hot, right? So by itself, without this Aquanta computer, it always stays and keeps it at this temp, right? That's all this thing's doing. Just no intelligence whatsoever, just physical, boom, this temp. Now with the computer, it's way smarter. And on top of it, um, I did pay for the additional sensor where... It's down here. So if there is a water leak, you know, and it starts pouring out, it's first is gonna fill up in here. And then, but this thing is, I have it just mounted here at the bottom. So this will trigger. And this alarm, there's like an alarm on here that'll go off. And this is currently wired into the Wi-Fi. So you can see when it's got the blue light that everything's working and it's connected to the system. So this is the cold water going in. And then, oh, you heard it click. It just clicked. So it's now, you hear the burner? So it, it wanted to heat the water to make sure we at least had more than 66 is what I'm assuming. Um, and then that's the hot water going out. And we also have a circulatory pump here as well, which is connected in. So that's the way ours is rigged up. All right, so let's give the water sensor a whirl. We're gonna see what happens. I have a little cup of water here. I'm not gonna soak it because, at least hopefully I don't have to because I don't know how long that'll activate for. So I'm gonna put a little bit of water here. I don't have it submerged per se. It's definitely water. Yeah, here we go. Okay, this thing's got an audible alarm. Okay, here you can see the, the Aquanta app. I have the Aquanta app installed. It's showing a little water drop. Yep, there it says uh, Aquanta has detected a leak. So you click on it. And this is the app. Okay, it says a leak was detected. February gives you the time, and that is correct. You say okay. And at that point, I could set it to away mode. I was like, oh no, what's going on? So... Here again is very similar information as to what is on the website. Here it does, although it doesn't show you the tank, at least not on the um, Android version, um, but it does show me the temperature and the percent of water. Okay, so I cleared off the water. There's no more water, it has stopped beeping. The unit itself is good to go and everything's functioning. Again, the thing I think it was interesting is that it did not stop the, or turn down the heater. So you would think if there were, a, if there was a leak, why would you want to keep running the heater? This is still going, or it was still going. But um, anyway, the sensor definitely works. And the app did alert. I thought an email, it was also supposed to get sent. I haven't received anything yet, but maybe because I have the app installed, it is, does not do that. I'm not totally sure. But overall, very happy with this thing, works well. Um, I'll give some update videos later on, but I think probably need about another month or so to really kind of see how this thing dials in. 
at least now something's a little smarter. <laughs> All right, you guys take care. See ya. Bye. So that's cool. And this is um, currently wired.